your wheel bearings. They play an important role in keeping the wheels spinning as you drive your vehicle down the road. Worn wheel bearings can cause your vehicle to use an awful lot of gas and in some severe cases may even cause the wheel to come off. Some wheel bearings are sealed and lubricated for life, although most aren't. So it's important to lubricate your wheel bearings on a regular basis. With proper care and lubrication, wheel bearings should roll down the road for 100,000 miles or so without any complaints. There are a couple of ways that your wheel bearings can tell you that they may need servicing. One is to listen for clicks and rumbles and groans that vary with speed as you change the vehicle speed. This could mean that the bearings can no longer handle the load. Another way is to jack the tire up off the ground a little bit and grab a hold of the wheel and try to move it back and forth. There should be very little play. If you feel excessive play here, it could mean that the bearings need servicing. To take out the wheel bearing, I first remove the tire, the dust cup, the cotter pin, the nut and the washer. And now my next step is to rock the drum back and forth, which pops the wheel bearing forward. And then I'll use two small screwdrivers to take the bearing off the spindle. And there we have our bearing ready for inspection. Before we can inspect the bearing for damage, we're going to have to clean all the grease out. Don't use compressed air. Use a brake cleaner or something that's like this in a spray can that's a good solvent that can be used to clean the grease out of the bearing. Just like that. After the bearing is nice and clean, we can look at it, see if there's any scratches, discoloration, or bits of metal flaking off. This bearing looks really good. All we have to do is relubricate it and reinstall it. There are two ways to lubricate the bearing. One method is to take some grease from the grease tub and just put it right in the palm of your hand and then take the rollers and push them into the grease. Push hard, make sure that the grease goes all the way through the bearing. The easiest and most efficient way to grease a bearing is to use a bearing packing tool. And what we'll do here is sandwich the bearing in between the two pieces of the packing tool. It's an adjustable tool, it fits any size bearing. Put the grease gun on the tool and fill the bearing with grease. After the bearing has been properly lubricated, it's ready to be reinstalled. To do that, we'll push it back onto the spindle. Next comes the washer and the nut. When tightening the nut, the trick is to keep tightening the nut until the wheel turns very hard, like this. And then back off about a quarter of a turn until it turns freely. Now we're ready to reinstall the cotter pin. Always use a brand new cotter pin. Don't reuse the old one. After we put the cotter pin in, I like to use the side cutters to just bend the cotter pin over on each side. We reinstall the dust cover. And we're done.